What just happened in the SRS series? There was some huge drama on the track in the most recent race featuring Haley Deegan and Paul Tracy. The tensions were high, and Haley was enraged after some close contact with Tracy. What really happened out there? Was Tracy's aggressive driving to blame for the accident? What impact will this have on the rest of the season? Watch this action-packed video on NASCAR Zone to find out what happened between these two drivers. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The latest drama in Tony Stewart's SRX series. So in the first few races, there were some brake issues with several cars, and people were giving Tony Stewart a hard time about it. But guess what? This Thursday at Pulaski County Motorsports Park, the cars ran just fine, except for one of the drivers. Now the third race of the Camping World SRX Series was won by a newcomer, Kyle Busch. But it wasn't an easy win for him. He had to navigate through a bunch of chaos to reach that checkered flag. Things got pretty wild on the 89th lap, and there was a major incident that left four vehicles in bad shape. Paul Tracy was the main culprit here, and his antics caused a massive mess, taking out Haley Deegan, Joseph Newgarden, and Ken Schrader. In the final section of the race, Tracy pushed Newgarden right into the wall on the turn four exit, and the collision ended up taking out Deegan and Schrader, who were right behind them. Well, you can imagine that after this mess, a caution was brought out, and when the race restarted, all the cars involved in the incident, except Deegan's, had to retire because of the significant damage. It was not just painful for the drivers, but also for the FURI team members who build and repair those cars. Now, here's the interesting part. Ken Schrader, who's usually known for his clean and calm racing style, was so frustrated with Tracy that he declared he'll never race with him again. I'd like to see it, but I'm pretty sure green had black shoved into the outside wall. I'm not running another race with him. I'm done. When the dust settled down after the chaotic race, things got pretty interesting. Paul Tracy tried to defend his move, claiming that he and Newgarden had been bumping into each other for a couple of laps, and he accidentally got turned sideways on the straightaway. The end of the race, 10 to go or so, and everybody's now running hard. And uh, Newgarden and I were, you know, just, he wasn't willing to give up the position on the outside, and I had a, you know, half a car length in front of him, and we just got hooked up. And he put me in the took me, and that was, that was it, you know. The incident caused a lot of emotions and adrenaline during the race, but once it was all over, some drivers reacted differently. Ken Schrader, despite being frustrated during the race, seemed to be surprisingly calm afterward. Hey, Kenny, uh, what happened out there? Paul took out three or four cars again, same thing, every week. Haley Deegan, who was also caught up in the mess, shared her perspective on the incident. It has, and it sucks because, like, I feel like a train I tried to at least have to last two races. And I tried to be so nice. And the nice people, me, Brad, uh, Bobby, Bobby's a really nice race on the race track. He races super clean, he's fast, he's a little hop and go, nothing great. But, like, those are the people I can take away and jump the most. Like, I can't, I think Brad's been wrecked every single race here. Like, I, think, I really think he's been killed with every single race here. And Bobby just gets ran over, even though he's fast. So, it just, I got, it sucks because you have to race. But like, like an asshole in order to not get you know, like, This is the first race I did that, and this is a probably one better thing. Paul Tracy, who is 54 years old, has been a regular competitor in the SRX races since the series started back in 2021. However, his latest incident during the race raised serious concerns about driver safety. The chief executive officer of SRX, Don Hawk, emphasized that they take such issues very seriously and want to ensure a competitive and safe racing environment for all drivers. The situation has definitely added some tension and drama to the SRX series, and fans will be eager to see how it plays out in future races. What are your thoughts on the recent clash between Haley Deegan and Paul Tracy? Tell us know in the comments section below, and be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. The main event at the SRX series brought some thrilling racing action. Tony Stewart and Mario Andretti started on the front row and Stewart quickly took the lead, leaving Andretti behind. 
Brad Keselowski also made a move, taking the second position from Andretti. Meanwhile, Kyle Busch was making good progress, passing Bobby Labonte and moving up to fifth place. As the race progressed, Paul Tracy joined the action and overtook Labonte to the sixth position. A competition caution was called around lap 14, giving the drivers a chance to regroup. Stewart and Keselowski were at the front again after the restart, and once more, Stewart cleared into turn two. On lap 23, Butch and Helio Castronades had a bit of a bump while battling for fourth place. Lap 29 saw Bush making a move to take the lead from Stewart, and he succeeded. But the race wasn't without its incidents. A few laps later, Bush attempted a similar move on Keselowski, which ended up with Keselowski spinning toward the outside retaining wall, causing a caution. After the restart, Bush managed to clear Stewart again, and Clint Boyer was battling for second position with Stewart. Lap 82 saw an on-track incident between Joseph Newgarden and Castro Neves, causing more chaos on the track. Then, on lap 89, a major incident occurred involving Paul Tracy, Joseph Newgarden, Ken Schrader, Haley Deegan, and Mario Andretti. Tracy's aggressive driving caused a collision with Newgarden, leading to more cars getting caught up in the chaos. The race continued with some intense moments, and Bowyer managed to clear Stewart with just four laps to go. The final caution came out on lap 97, when Andretti spun due to a mechanical failure. With a green-white checkered finish on the horizon, Bowyer chose the bottom and started in third position. He skillfully cleared Stewart and gave Kyle Busch a run for his money, but Busch ultimately secured the checkered flag. After the race, Kyle Busch acknowledged that the incident with Keselowski might have been avoided with spotters. The incident with Brad, is that a byproduct of just no spotters here? Yeah, a little bit of that. I mean, I, I don't know if he knew I was there or didn't, didn't know I was there or what or what, but, um, you know, just I had a nose in there and I was like, I'm here, you know, and I got in next to his door and um, he came down, we made contact, you know, so um, definitely a product of spotters. And, you know, also I was just always kind of checking my mirrors to see where guys were and what they were doing around me. Uh, to make sure that I wouldn't put myself in a spot like that. Clint Boyer, who finished second, considered trying the outside line but stuck with what worked for him based on previous experiences. Did you ever think about trying the outside just to see what I would do? Oh, you know I did. I, I just, you know, I knew. Uh, I made that mistake in Stafford, actually. I, I went for it out there and tried. and here i was too tight on the outside every single time i tried it earlier you know in the heat races and everything and you know you got to stick with what got you there um, tony stewart who finished third reflected on the adjustments they made to his car and shared his excitement for the upcoming races on dirt tracks I thought we made the right changes last week and and i think hindsight we learned from it made it different adjustments this week to compensate kind of for the same thing but did it a different way and it definitely responded to it so um, was happy with the changes just uh, you know for some reason every caution I just got tighter and tighter in the center of the corner on the restarts and couldn't get the front end to come back so uh, we got one more pavement race and uh, then we get to my favorite part we get to run these things on dirt again so uh, Kyle and Brad was in front of you you had a good view of that what did you see there is that just no spotters yeah that's I mean honestly that's really what it is um, you know we, we need to work on our window nets a little bit to make the side mirrors a little more effective it's there's the very front part of the window net kind of blocks the center of that, that uh, mirror, so it makes it a little bit harder. But um... Despite all the drama and on-track incidents, the spectators had a thrilling moment watching Kyle Busch with the race in his SRX debut. Moving forward, it'll be interesting to see if there's any lingering tension between Scrater and Tracy and how things unfold in the upcoming races. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.